Hello, I'm Tom Hausler. I'm with the Hayes County Master Naturalist. Today we're going to talk about uh, pruning ash jennifer, also known as cedar, around live oak trees and other native plants. First, I'd like to talk about some of the myths about the ash juniper that is false. First one is all ash juniper should be cleared around good trees or oaks. Wow. We're standing in an area now which that was actually done a few years back. <clears throat> and you can see the effect of what happened. As junipers actually cool the ground around the big trees. They also prevent erosion around the big trees and also keep the moisture around the, the root system. When you, when you remove all the junipers, like seen here, the, the tree is totally exposed to the heat and the sun on the ground is what really dries it out. One of the other myths is cedar's a water hog. It takes up all the water. Uh, actually, it's the most efficient water user of central Texas trees. Again, it does stop the penetration of the rain coming down through its uh, leaves when the moisture underneath is very rich and very thick soil base. It keeps the, the oak's root system cool and also moist. So it's just the opposite of what most people think. And the other one, of course, everybody says, well, the juniper is not a native tree. Well, it's been here 25,000 years. So for most of us, that's considered fairly native. In central Texas, when the railroads came through, ash juniper was used to put all the railroad ties down. And so hundreds of thousands of the mature junipers were cut for that purpose. And if you go through history books, you'll see many references to the, the dense cedar pockets and stuff that the settlers, settlers had to go through. Is it invasive? In some degrees, it is invasive because in the older days, the, the fires that Native Americans set helped cut the small saplings out. And now that mankind has taken over, those tend to grow up. And the basic rule is when you're cutting your junipers thin, only cut 60% of it, leave 40 and, and always cut at a slow pace. Do not cut everything at once. Again, that's what happens when you cut everything at once. The, the oak tree actually goes into shock and decline. We've moved down the trail to an area where we cleared out the juniper in the heart of this stand of live oak trees. As you can see, the, tre the trees themselves are much healthier than the ones just around this trail. The junipers are still standing, especially the, you can see the shade that was provided. They were cleared out, so there's good airflow going through the trees. And overall, this area is much healthier than the area we just left. And this is the area that we're considering clear the ash juniper out of. One of the first things you want to do when you get in areas is which direction is west, because that's the area you want to protect these trees from the, the sun. In this case, actually, the west is straight behind us here. And so if we start off with these junipers, we can actually remove them because there is going to be shade on this, this tree's root base. Part of this area can be removed. As we go into the thicker area, the ones down the center, I think we've got like a almost a circle of oaks, and I think the center of the ash juniper can be removed, and also out from the sides at least six to eight feet. When you're cutting these juniper, be sure you cut them all the way to the ground. Do not leave any green. You can see a nice is almost like a, a nice round area which could be totally cleared out, and I think it would be help the health of these oak trees. These are, are in good health, and one of the reasons is because these junipers are here. They're companion plants. When we talk about clearing out six to eight feet from the oak, again, take the first cut, go out your six feet or your eight feet, then stop and look at it. You might be able to go another six feet. It just depends on what native plants are there, what other oak trees are in the area that might be providing shade. The main thing is the health, the closest tree. It's all kind of, again, do it in steps. Do not just go through and cut everything down at once. Make your first cut, pull those out, look at it again, and then make your next cut. Okay, we're back to the area we talked about earlier. Again, the west is behind the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and we're sort of start cutting this, these junipers out of the heart of these oaks down here. Mike's gonna pull this one out. We did that with a handsaw. 
we're going to take those and cut them in smaller pieces and use use them as erosion control. They will also turn into wildlife habitat for the small animals like rabbits, etc. We're also going to take these out in front because again we have the shade of the other oak trees. And then we're going to get the chainsaw going and then we're going to cut these bigger ones out and work our way down through the heart of that a grove of trees. This is an area that was totally covered with ash juniper in the center of these trees. We had taken out the entire center part around the trees to give them some airflow and to help uh, keep the moisture on the ground. We're not worried about the sunlight because this is the west side and there's plenty of canopy for the shade for these oak trees. We left the uh, native plants, uh, the persimmon, yopon, and everything else. It's kind of hard to tell what it was before. We've probably taken out two dozen trees out of here. The, we left the perimeter again for shade. And later on, next stage, we'll probably go one more step in, take another layer out to keep working this area. This is like stage one. We've taken all the, the cuttings and put out on the perimeter as erosion control wildlife habitat area. Again, we cleared the, the juniper out of this area. Again, it helped keep the moisture intact, helps the growth of the live oak. We left the persimmon, even though they're close to the tree, the agarita close to the tree, they're doing no harm to the oak tree. The main thing is, is giving air space so there's good airflow. We're gonna start again and, and do another round, probably another six feet into these junipers and looking at the, the canopy and see how far out we can go. The more we can give this open area, it really helps plants grow. You see the soil on here is really good due to the juniper, left a lot of the really good compost. Again, the, it keeps a really nice cool base for these oaks.